Okay, so you guys might be wondering why I started my car for the beginning of this video. I started my car because I don't get to run it as much as I want. I'm still on my permit. I get to take my test soon. But this car, it's not a newer car. It's a 2100 Accord. So if I don't start this bad boy every day, it won't start the next day. So I got to keep running it, running it, charge the battery. As you can see here, I've had my first little dinger. So, yeah, if your dad tells you to pull your car out of the garage, I don't think he means to drive it right into the side of it. So, yeah, don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> Be safe driving. <laughs> I know it looks a lot worse than what it is, but really all it is is paint. Pop the quarter panel out. She'll be fine. What is up, guys? We're back with another episode today. We'll be going over my main rods that I use. This was requested by one of my friends to go over some rods I use while I'm out fishing. So let's crack into this. Okay, so as you can see, I have my rods laid out here. These are the five main rods I use. Now, everybody has an ultralight rod. This is my ultralight rod. It's the Abu Garcia Vengeance. Sorry, that car by went by. But it's Abu Garcia Vengeance. It is a six foot ultralight very fast action tip this is actually a gift from my girlfriend I've had it for about uh, half a year I've used it quite a bit there's a river that runs right in front of my house this is what I take with me all the time for smallies and rock bass and some carp which are very interesting because they like to stretch out my line but I have six pound monofilament on here. That is my go-to for ultralight, six pound to four pound ultralight. So this is the silver model. They also make a black model for this, which very few people I've seen use this. I like throwing, let's see if I can get it. I like throwing mini crankbaits on it. And Mr. Twisters, if you guys know what they are, little swim tail grubs. Second rod will go over. This is the first bait caster I've ever bought in my life, which is one of the cheapest and best combos you can buy is the Ivo Garcia Black Max. This rod, this rod is, for the price, incredible because it was only, I think I purchased it for 80. Now you can get them in store for 50 to 60, depending where you go. It is a 6.6 medium. I have on 12 pound monofilament, I believe, 12, 10 or 12 pound monofilament, just because that is, if you read a box for a lure or when you purchase a lure, it has a depth, like a diving depth. Well, that diving depth, if you use 10 to 12 pound monofilament, preferably 12 pound, it'll get to that depth. That's what they test the depth with. So it's a very stiff rod, which isn't bad at all. It gives you less tension when you're trying to rip the fish, but I I was just throwing a little jerk bait on there today. I went fishing, didn't really catch too much, didn't catch anything at all. But it's just nice to get out still. But this rod, it's held up pretty good. I've had this for about a year. I bought this myself. It was the first rod, first bait casting rod I've ever bought. <clears throat> this is my favorite spinning rod I have. It is the Cardinal Z by Abu Garcia. I do not prefer Abu Garcia rods. I just like using the product. I know it's a very trustworthy brand. They have nice products, but they're not the only brand I use. This rod is actually a rod by my favorite uh, major league fishing uh, fisherman. His name is Fletcher Shryock. This is his rod. He uses this rod for, he created this rod, like designed it for many purposes. It's a 6.6 six medium. It's orange is my favorite color it's an all orange rod has the reel on it is a four ball bearing reel it's not the fastest reel but it does what it's supposed to do i was just using a little ned rig on it today um this rod um it could be used for many things i know people who drop shot use a longer rod longer thing rod like six nine seven seven one but i use this for drop shotting just because the places I go and fish in Pennsylvania don't necessarily have the deepest water where I drop shot so I don't really need the extra leverage but yeah this rod I actually got this for a steer I think 
in the store they're supposed to be like 50 bucks but it was mis mispriced at walmart so i think i actually bought it for like nine dollars yeah so actually probably the best red i've ever bought <laughs> most worth it uh, next one i have right here was actually another gift this is a Daiwa laguna combo i um i haven't really got the fish with this rod too much because i've been using a different rod i've been using the black max and i'm more of a spinning rod guy i've actually just gotten a bait caster but this rod i love how the rod looks it is a seven foot medium heavy it has almost a carbon fiber like blank on it and then it is um it has a fax action tip it's actually really it's pretty flexible for being a medium heavy i have 15 pound one of them on here i actually had braid on it but there's not too many places where i fish that have matted grass or too many weeds or anything like that so i've been just slow cranking spinner baits on it today like i said didn't really catch anything had a couple bites hit and misses but yeah i think i, I got this for christmas it was a it was probably the first bait casting <laughs> bait casting rod I think my dad ever bought me, so yeah. And this rod I actually picked up last year and wasn't eh, I just bought it for we go catfishing a lot in this rod. Very strong rod, it's just a Daiwa I believe it's a six six. It doesn't say on the rod, it's just a Daiwa D shot. It's it was cheap rod, I just bought it for something to throw around when we went to to the local lakes for mud cats or something like that so after that i also took it to the beach with me for a little inshore saltwater fishing in the like in the coastal water and everything like that and it held up very nice just make sure if you do that you rinse your reel which i've done and the reel is just as it's supposed to do but yeah it, i bought this for 20 bucks just a little cheap rod to throw around keep in the car yeah So those are the five main rods I use and no, I don't use the most expensive rods just because I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm not into fishing, but I'm not going to go out and spend $400 on a rod because I don't go out fishing every day. I'm a, I'm like a weekend angler, so I don't get to go out every single day, but these rods are nice, sturdy. They're incredible for their price. I think the most expensive rod I had here was the Daiwa. <laughs> the Daiwa Laguna combo I believe that was like $200 but that's like the most expensive combo I've had but for getting a rod and a reel it's not a bad price I actually have a rod coming in from Lucky Tackle Box it is a bulldog I believe it's a seven foot I believe it's all white and that's what they told me at least and I have a pinnacle it's a pinnacle reel it's a bait casting reel I'll put it on there that'll be interesting to use the rod looks sick if it's what I got, if it's what I, I ordered anyways. And then I have my bag here as well. This is my bag. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a, it's a baseball bag, but <laughs> I don't play baseball anymore. So I like this bag just because it has an extra farmer here. I'll put for what I'm using. It just has little clips on it. You slide whatever you, you're using in there. And I had my jerkbait box out because i was using the jerkbait but just it's convenient to have it here all you do is unclip it take it out open your lures this is a hard uh hard section here right here so you can put your phone if you're out fishing or i put my camera in here i'll show you my camera in a little bit but this is where i put all my my phones and stuff like that because this part is supposed to be waterproof never really tested that out it says waterproof and it's hard body so it'll keep whatever in there protected now this part, this is what I really like about it, is the zipper part. Now you can take the zipper part off if you want. I like keeping it on to protect from rain getting in and everything. But it's a real deep bag. Like it's a real deep bag. I have four flambo tackle like boxes in here to put my lures in, and it's not even halfway full. It's it's a really really large uh, storage compartment. And another thing I like about it is the size. Now these yes are for bats, but they also work for rods too as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an elastic band around here, like a Velcro band. So when I put my rod in here, I'll put the other part above the reel so it really can't go anywhere. Which, I mean, I can't go anywhere now because of the length of this. But there's always that chance of it falling out that just gives it a little bit more protection. 
So yeah, that's my bag. <clears throat> this is the camera I've actually just recently bought. It is a MG Cool Explorer 2. Yes, I know it's not a GoPro or anything special like that. But like I said, I'm only a weekend angler. Eventually, yes, I'll get in the getting GoPros and everything. But I'm just starting this YouTube channel out. And if I don't like doing this, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money and then not use this stuff. This, it has great quality. There's nothing wrong with it. I was just using it today. I'll upload some footage of it sooner or later. I have to get a new SD card where I put the wrong SD card in it. But yeah. This camera, real sturdy, came with a waterproof case and a whole bunch of other accessories to use to film. Right now, I'm actually filming with my iPhone 8. You might be the Brock, why are you filming with the iPhone? But iPhone, the iPhone 8, 7s, they all have excellent, excellent cameras on it. As you can tell, I'm, I'm recording in 4K right now. So yeah, these are the rods I use. That's my bag, my camera. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe.